Assalamualaikum. My name is Ashfaq and I'm a student. My question is, Quran in several places has mentioned that the heavens and the earth were created in six days. But in Surah Fusilat, it says the heaven and the earth was created in eight days. Isn't this a contradiction? And the same verse also says that the earth was created in six days and then later on the heaven in two days. This is against the Big Bang theory that the heavens and earth were created simultaneously. Well, that poses a very important question. The Quran says the heavens and the earth were created in six days. When Surah Fusilat, it says eight days. Isn't there a contradiction and also contradiction with the Big Bang theory? I do agree with you, brother. The Quran says in several places that the heavens and the earth were created in six days. In several places. In Surah Araf, chapter 7, verse number 54. In Surah Yunus, chapter 10, verse number 3. In Surah Hud, chapter 11, verse number 7. In Surah Furqan, chapter 25, verse number 59. In Surah Sajda, chapter 32, verse number 4. In Surah Hadith, chapter 57, verse number 4. In several places, the Quran says the heavens and the earth were created in six days. It's not the earthly days. It is ayams, very long periods, which scientists have got no objection to. And I also agree with you that the Quran does speak about the creation of the heavens and the earth in Surah Fusilat. The verse you are referring to, brother, is verses 9 to 12, which says that, do you not believe in the one who has created the earth in two days? And do you join equals with him? Do you join partners with him, who is the Lord of the worlds? Verse number 10 says, he has set on the earth mountains standing firm and given due nourishment on the earth in four days. Verse number 11 says, Moreover, in his design he comprehended the sky when it was smoke. And he said to it and the earth, Come ye together willingly or unwillingly? And they said, We come together in willing obedience. This he did in two days. So if you read it, just without thinking, 2 plus 4 plus 2 is 8 days. Quran gives the answer in the starting of the verse that it says that all those who will take out this fault, they are equal to those people who will join partners to God. I mean, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knew that there will be people who will take out fault in the Quran in this verse. They will be the mushriks. And today, this verse is commonly used by the Christian missionaries against the Muslims. If you go around, I've been traveling the world, this question was posed to me even there. The Christian missionaries, they pose this question. Quran says, it predicts that people will ask about this question. And these people will be those who associate partners with God. Let's analyze. The first two verses, that is Surah Fusilat, chapter 41, verse 9 and 10, says that the earth was created in two days. And then mountains were set on it, and nourishment was given in due proportion in four days. So it says, two days the earth was formed, mountains were set on it afterwards. In four days, total comes to six days. Then verse number 11 starts with the Arabic word summa. Now the Arabic word summa can be translated in three different ways. One is then, one is moreover, and the other is simultaneously. I do know that many translations have translated the Arabic word summa as then. If you translate summa as then, then there is a contradiction. It says then the heavens were made in two days. That means two plus four plus two is equal to eight days. But the exact translation should be summa should be translated as moreover or simultaneously. And Abdullah Yusuf Ali, alhamdulillah, in this place has translated summa correctly as moreover. So if you translate summa as moreover or simultaneously, it will mean that when the earth and the mountains were created in six days, simultaneously the heavens were created in two days. For example, suppose a builder, he gives in his brochure that I have constructed a 10-story building along with its surrounding and compound wall in six months. When a person wants to buy a flat in that building, he goes to the builder and, and he asks for more detail. So the builder says, it took me two months to make the basement of the building and another four months to make the 10-story. 
And while I was building the basement and the story, I simultaneously built the compound wall and the surrounding in two months. It's possible. So then he's not contradicting. Total comes to, yes, six months. So similarly, when Surah Fusila, chapter 41, verse number 9 to 12, it says that while the earth was created along with the mountain in six days, simultaneously the heavens was created in two days. There's no contradiction. And similarly, if you take then, it contradicts with science. Because earth was created first, then were created the mountains. It's contradicting. Similarly, Quran speaks in Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 29, that Allah made the earth, summa, the heavens. But unfortunately here, Abdullah Yusuf Ali has translated summa wrongly as then. In verse 29 of Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, he translates summa as then. Allah created the earth and then the heaven. Then there's a contradiction. Even here, summa should be translated as moreover or simultaneously. If it's translated simultaneously, then it's not a contradiction. Because the Big Bang Theory tells us that the earth and the heavens were created simultaneously. No wonder in the Quran, the Quran says in many places, we created the heavens and the earth. In other places it says, we created the earth and the heavens. Giving evidence to the verse of the Quran of Surah Al-Anbiya, chapter 21, verse number 30, it says, Avalam yara ladhina kafaru anna samawati wal arda kaan adarat kan fatakna huma that do not the unbelievers see that the heavens and the earth were joined together and we clove them asunder.